ni tekna msangi ya jishinde.com so here we have this field we have said it's not editable the booking number uh, okay so we need to create a number series there is a specific code that will help us uh, generate the number series so on validate we want to make sure that this booking number is uh, not the same as uh, here is the code that we'll use the booking number uh, worry not about um, this syntax you don't need to cram it it's a uh, more or less a standard syntax that is used for uh, these sort types of uh, extensions so don't worry about it so we'll 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 create a table extension for the sales and receivable setups to add these booking numbers so that we can be able to define it let me open this uh, sales and receivable setup sales and receivable setups so this is a setup that enables us to set up the number series that we want um so here under number series we want to add maybe after after the direct debit mandate numbers we want to add our own uh, booking numbers as a number series and then you see like this one it's defining that the numbers should this is the series code and the way the numbers should start will be defined here the starting number is this and this is the ending number so we'll also define ours in a series list so but we need to uh, set up set up here so that we can be able we can allow the user to easily change the series if they want to change the the order of the numbers they can change it at their own time <clears throat> and that's why we are adding it here so we will create a table extension for the cells and receivable uh, setup so the snippet is table extension oh no no t table extension t table extension and then we'll have 50 i think uh, number and then um uh cells setup ext extension it will extend it will extend the sales and receivable setup table and uh, the fields that we want here we want a new field so we are not changing the field okay here is the fields so we want a new field that we should name um we are using the series that we defined in the launch.json to avoid uh, uh, conflicting with the original table that was set the way it was set so we say it's booking nose like that with a dot you can follow that standard and then it will be a code of uh, 20 and then i think 10 it should be 10 not 20 the number series table has 10 as uh, the default and then the table relation will be no series just that you have extended now this table and added these booking numbers in the sales and receivable setup table we have added now our own custom uh, field and uh, we will later on display it uh, oh i've closed it yeah we'll later on uh, display it on the page and then from there we'll come here and say this is the condition we are, we, are, we are looking at we are comparing the booking number the current booking number if it's not equal to the previous this x rec sets the previous x record the x the previous booking number so we now need to to do a get in this so the other thing we need to do to add here is define uh, this particular um, table under our global variables so we'll say that this is a record of type cells and receivable setups and the other uh, thing that you need to define this is no series management it's a code unit we also need to define this particular code unit it's a code unit of uh, 
now series management and that's it then after defining the code unit now we can uncomment this this one tests for the um the manual to make sure that uh, the number series does not allow uh, manual entry of uh, the numbers it's only auto generated that's why we even stated the editable to be false under the booking numbers so this number series field is the field that is located in our table here uh, this is the field We're still with the same table relation but so not so important there but uh, we initialize it to to blank if um, there is a change and now on insert the trigger is what happens on insert on insert this is what we will be doing it's a standard code as well we are going to insert the um we are going to insert the uh, or, or rather we are going to populate the number series while the user is inserting into our table and here we go the trigger on insert is here so we make sure that the booking uh, number is equal to a uh, blank to make sure that it's blank and then we'll get this cell set up and then we test field test field will make sure that where is it okay we, we have we don't have it yet but it will make sure that you the user has made a setup for this value it's a validation to make sure that yes has the user uh, does it have a value like if i remove uh, this value it means there is no value so the test field will make sure that there is a value here so that it can't get a blank it's a validation mechanism and then this will now initiate the series um, entry into that uh, uh, this, the series entry into the field so the init series and then here we'll have the booking numbers i think the number series code i will uh, put it in the description to just enable people to uh, use it for the purpose of uh, speed if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one